Buenos dias, mis amigos. All right, point number three. Now, everything that I am teaching is based on the fact that when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, it's the end of the world, and there will be very few people alive at that moment who are saved. Very few. Now, what I want to point to in this video is Second Peter chapter 3, that when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven, of course, in Matthew 24, we read about him coming in the clouds of heaven in verses 29 through 31, and it says immediately after the tribulation, ding, 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 of those days shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heaven shall be shaken. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven, that's Jesus, and then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. And for good reason. It's because they know it's the end of the world. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. And he shall send his angels with the great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Now this is parallel with what we read in 1 Thessalonians 4. For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with the shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds, to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. All right, and again, one more parallel. 1 Corinthians 15. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. This is the same moment in time when Jesus appears in heaven and all the tribes of the earth mourn, and he shall send his angels to gather together his elect same moment in time second peter chapter 3 the day of the lord that's the day of the lord the day of god looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of god right where am i at here the day of the lord Day of God, day of the Lord, same thing. The coming of the Son of Man, same thing. It's the end of the world when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. And when he comes, with that day, the day of the Lord, will come as a thief in the night, in the which the heaven shall pass away with a great noise. The sun shall be darkened, and the moon shall not give her light, and the stars shall fall from heaven, and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. The heavens shall pass away with a great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also, and the works that are therein, shall be burned up. There is no more 
unsaved people living beyond this. There ain't no chance, Jack. What's the matter with you? All these people today, Reverend Smitty yesterday probably stood on his podium in front of God and everybody and said, there's coming a thousand year period of peace after Jesus comes. That's not possible at all. What they are suggesting is that unsafe people will live after Jesus comes. Not possible. Not possible. There cannot be any more unsaved people living after this moment in time when Jesus comes in the clouds of heaven. It's not possible. The Bible's very clear on that. 